Hello friends, I want to share something with you. Basically, open source can be used for many things, if you've seen, as you've seen from my presentations and such. So, yeah, so it can be used for growing your professional skills, it can be used as a replacement for MIT in some, uh, well, some kind of replacement, maybe better, maybe worse, depends on you. Uh, it can be used to prevent burnout, but it can also be used as a good topic for discussions. So basically what happened today, I was talking to a colleague of mine and I've asked him if he would like to join our open source thing, our open source uh, meetup. And well, apparently he already contributed to open source. He did few lines of code in Bash and in Golang. And this is actually quite a lot because although it looks tiny, that's a stuff, a project which many people use. And as I was saying, it's much more useful to me and to the society than somebody creating uh, super smart changes in a project that nobody can see. So the humanity does not actually benefit from this person's code. So, yeah, so when you are speaking to a friend, so when you are speaking to somebody who is related to computers or might be interested in stuff, just use open source as an idea for discussion. That's probably more interesting than the weather. Although weather is still interesting, and as an extra, you can discuss weather and open source because it's very hot here in the UK at the moment. 27, I think. It's quite warm for UK, and uh, well, it will be interesting to see which uh, meteor projects, which projects about weather exist there. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for the updates, for the meetup updates, for the YouTube updates. We have our channel on YouTube together with open source and please subscribe and see you all next see, see you all later. Thank you for listening. Bye bye bye.